to me. So today, probably tomorrow as well, I'm looking at changing the fork seals on the GPZ. It's a job I've been putting off for a little while, and it's something that needs doing. It's a slight film uh, around the statues. It's not horrendous, uh, but it's something I am going to do. I'm only going to do it once. But genuine Kawasaki seals, uh, as like I say, I only want to do them once. So uh, let's get on with it. It's time to drain, drain the fork mix down. Okay. loosening these off whilst they're on the bike. Not taking them off yet, but um, just makes life easier later. in one piece.
bolts are out. Hooray! So it wasn't too traumatic a job, it was systematic, follow everything through, make sure everything's undone. Um, it's fairly self-explanatory. So I'm at this point now, um, I've drained all the oil out. I actually left it overnight because it's getting dark and it's getting cold. And it's cold, as always. Um, so, uh, yeah, but at this point, ports are drained. Um, I'm going to attempt to take the bottom uh, cap head bolt out of the forks, which holds the stanchion first. I've loosened the top cap whilst the bike was still in, uh, clamped into the forks. So obviously that's quite tight. Um, it's the easiest way to get it out or to loosen it, but I've, I haven't taken it all the way out yet. Um, I'm well prepared, but <laughs> empty bowls on the floor, carrot, uh, plastic bags, anything I can cover the floor with, because I know it's going to get quite messy this job, but I've got a feeling. Uh, okay, let's see how we go, shall we? That was a bit of a result. Hopefully the other one will be the same. That can be a nightmare getting these out. I've actually got a special tool to get this out if uh, if I had a problem to loosen this bolt. What can happen is that when you loosen this, the stanchion spins, or inside the stanchion spins, um, that stops you getting the fork stanchion out from the fork at the bottom. Okay, let's carry on. So when you take these springs out, you've got to be careful with the orientation. The tight coils of the springs are towards the top, and the more open coils of the springs are towards the bottom. Um, so like I say, just take note of that. Put this somewhere, you don't mind getting covered in oil, because obviously everything's covered in oil. Carefully prise away these dust seals from the top and away. That then reveals the main fork seal in there. Okay, so what we're going to do is use this as like a slide hammer. There are components inside this fork leg. I've taken some of them out, um, but be aware that they're going to come flying out. In fact, I might just tip them out first. So that is what uh, the cap head bolt that I removed bolts into, into the bottom of the inside of the fork stature. And there is also a TRV valve inside there. Okay. So inside this fork leg, just here, just holding the seal in place, there's a little metal clip. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so you've just got to hook that out first um, before we remove the seal. Okay, so that's the clip that's come out of the fork stanchion. Now we should be able to drive the fork leg uh, stanchion out of the fork leg, bringing the seal with it. And eventually, after a lot of hammering, it feels a bit brutal that, that's come out. Good. That's our seal. Okay, so I've lined things up in the order they came out to make it easier for myself and also to show you guys how it goes back together again because if you've got a Haynes manual or something like that if you just misplace something take something out of order then this will help you hopefully okay um, so there's the the top workings the dust seal the clip top washer seal and um, bottom washer 
and this piece here, um, which is called the bo uh, that's the bottom bush. Um, obviously, that fits around the stanchion. These fit around the top of the stanchion. Okay, so starting with the TCV valve, uh, you've got the dampener rod, and you've got the um, piston ring on there. Um, you've got the rebound spring, which is this one here. Um, and then you've got wavy washers and flat washers. And the damper rod seat, which is this piece. And obviously the, the, the uh, cap head bolt, can you see that? Obviously the cap head bolt at the, uh, at the end there. Um, this is the special tool that I bought. Um, in the Haynes manual it says about using a, um, I don't know if it says bluntly sharpened stick or a sharpened stick or something. But when I look at this, you can see that that's the piece that it lo locates into, if the camera will focus. That's the piece that, that, the, that this will locate into, or a stick. Um, basically just holding the, the dampener rod. Um, this will fit inside of that. It doesn't actually locate into a square, but I think if you jam it in there, basically it just cuts a um, cuts its way into the middle of the dampener rod. You can see where people have had a go at it before, actually. So is it worth buying? Uh, it wasn't in my case, but I used a my impact electric impact gun. But it's there. I've got it there. I know it all comes apart now. Once you've taken it apart once, it's easy to understand. And again, hopefully with this video, it will make it really easy for someone else to understand how to do it because I did not have a clue. I've never done forks before. So, um, but once you see them apart, they're not that complicated. Just take great care in putting them back together again, um, in the <laughs> in the order that you took them apart. And uh, there you go. When you do this, don't forget the air balance tube, like I've just done. Also, don't forget the two retaining tips. Put the stanchions back in, make sure they align with the top of the handlebar yokes. Okay, so the uh, fork's pretty much back together, uh, back on the bike. Just got to go around, check everything, do all my torque settings and that. I've done some of them, but uh, just check the rest of them. Um, I'm going to fill the uh, fork oil using this. Uh, it's the easiest way, I think. I, I know some people measure them with a dipstick, but the um, Haynes manual recommends. Okay, so the Haynes manual recommends uh, three eighteen CC. Uh, I've got a glass beaker, which is very, very useful for this sort of thing. It says 318 plus or minus 4cc, so um, I'm going to do it towards the higher end of that because obviously you get some oil sticking to the side of the beaker every time you tip it out. The beaker's probably not the right term for that, is it?
Okay, all I think that's uh, left to show you is uh, putting air back in these forks, but uh, I've got uh, a gauge which is specifically for bicycles. Um, if you can see, it's actually the pressures are basically too high. Um, it's a 400 psi gauge, and it needs to be 7.1 psi. So it probably was 7.1 psi before I let that air up. Um, so basically, I'm just going to take the needle off its seat and try it like that. Ladies and gentlemen, apart from putting the final bits back together, it's pretty much that. Like I say, make sure all your torque settings are right. Make sure everything's tight. It's important stuff. Um, good luck. Hope it helps.